for your centered zipper, you want to place your fabric right sides together. And you are going to be starting with a seam. Now, a few pieces to note before you sew that seam. You should have your zipper and you are going to double check where your notch is. You should have a notch right at the bottom of where your zipper will be. In this case, we have a raw edge at the top, so my zipper tape is just matching with the top. You need to keep in mind what you're sewing, so typically if you have a raw edge, you might have a seam or a waistband or some way to finish that top edge, which is why it's perfectly fine to have your zipper, the top of your zipper tape matching with the raw edge of your fabric. At the bottom, I've given myself just a chalk line that aligns with just underneath my zipper stopper, and that is where I'm going to transition my stitch length. And so I'm going to sew at a one and a half centimeter seam allowance, and along where that zipper will go, so along this distance, I'm going to sew a basting stitch. So that stitch is going to come out in the end. At that chalk mark, I am going to shift my stitch length to 2.5. Starting at the top, I have a basting stitch and I am not going to backstitch because the stitch will be coming out. And at my chalk mark, I'm going to change my stitch length to 2.5. I'm going to start with the backstitch, stitch to the end of the fabric, finish with a back stitch. This stitching down at the bottom here, where I transition to a regular stitch length, will not be coming out. So once you've done your stitches, trim your threads. You are then going to need to go to the iron and press open your seam allowance. So with your fabric right sides down, press open that seam allowance so that it is nice and flat all the way along. Don't skip the pressing. Now that I have pressed open my seam allowance, I am just about ready to sew in my zipper. Before I do that, a few notes about your seam allowance. If you, the item that you're making will have your seam allowance visible on the inside, you should be pre-finishing that raw edge, either with a serger, a zigzag binding, or another alternative method to finishing off that raw edge to prevent any fraying that might happen. If your item is going to be lined, no need to finish off those raw edges. On my machine, I have shifted my foot to a zipper foot. And so my next step that I'm going to do is I am going to put a line to hold my zipper to my seam allowance. Before you do this, double check your seam. So I know that this length here is my basting, and then that is where I've transitioned to a regular stitch length. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch from my seam allowance side. I am placing my seam allowance open, and I'm aiming to have my seam right on top of the zipper coils, running straight down the center. Now to line this up, I also wanna make sure that the raw edge at the top aligns with the very top of my zipper tape. You'll notice when you do this that you do have that zipper pull and sometimes it prevents you from laying everything flat. So usually for this step, I'd like to start just below that pull. And so also feeling through the fabric, I'm double checking that my stitching line is aligned exactly with the center of my coils. And so for this stitching line, I'm just going to do a regular stitch length but not worrying about if I'm back stitching. There will be another line of stitching to hold our zipper in place. So as I sew, I'm also going to continuously double check that my seam from my previous step aligns with the center of my zipper teeth. And just with this, I'm holding onto my seam with one hand. So with my finger, I can feel through that fabric and I can feel through where the zipper teeth are. I'm also using the machine foot to help guide me. And I'm just gonna keep double checking exactly where that seam is. Once you come to the end, needle up your threads out and trim and then we are ready for our next step and so you can see the line of stitching right on top of the zipper there and so for our next step we are going to open up our fabric and we are going to be stitching from the right side of our fabric again with our zipper foot and we are going to be top stitching down one side across at the bottom and then up on the other side now where we go across at the bottom is going to be right underneath that zipper stopper so when you have your fabric face up, feel through that fabric to find the zipper stopper. If it helps, you can put a needle through the fabric. So there's my zipper stopper. There's my pin, just to help mark it. And so because my zipper pull, if I try to go right beside it, my stitching might be a bit wider. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip that pull up and I'm actually going to start just below the pull. Once I open the seam, then I'll lower my pull and I'll finish off that seam. And so my pull is flipped up. I can feel through my fabric and I can tell that it starts right there. And so with the foot, I've gone down and I can feel through the fabric. I can feel through that my zipper teeth are aligned with that seam. 
And as I stitch at a regular stitch length of 2.5, I'm going to continue feeling through that fabric, double checking where those zipper teeth are. Because of our first line of stitching, the zipper teeth should hold straight to that center of the seam. And I'm just gonna do two stitches backwards and continue stitching all the way straight down to the end. Now that I'm coming up to that pin, I'm going to pull it out so I don't sew over it. And again, I'm feeling through the fabric. I have a really good idea of exactly where that is. In a hand wheel, two stitches, needle down, foot up, pivot my fabric. And again, I'm double checking where that stopper is. Because the stopper is metal, if I try to sew through it, unfortunately my needle will break and I won't be able to sew through it. And if you're being overly cautious with that stopper, you are welcome to hand wheel your machine. And so you want to go a few stitches past that center of the seam so that you're stitching up so your line is exactly the same distance away as your first row of stitching. So now that I'm a few stitches past, needle down, foot up, foot down, and then continue stitching. As I'm sewing, I am giving the fabric a little bit of tension and pulling away. And that's just so that my fabric doesn't end up accidentally folding over itself. And then I end up nicely sewing that over, getting an extra fold of fabric. So I want everything to lay nice and flat. And so I'm getting close to the zipper stopper here. So I'm going to do a one or two back stitches just to make sure everything holds. Needle up, foot up. Trim your threads. So you can see it's looking, my stitches are looking nice and parallel to each other and parallel to that original seam, which is perfect. And now I need to finish off the top of my zipper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my seam ripper. I'm going to open up that seam just enough so that I can pull my zipper pull down and then finish off the top edges of that seam carefully. Now that I have my fabric or my seam unpicked just enough, I've moved my zipper pull down. I then have positioned my fabric underneath with my zipper tape. I double checked the placement of that so that it is going straight. And I'm starting just at the bottom of my previous seam and I'm going to do a one or two stitches right on top. And then with this continuing to feel through the fabric exactly where the zipper tape is, finish off that seam. And then we'll do the other side. This side you might have to do a little bit of extra fussing because you're starting at an end and you're finishing at a seam. So do double check your direction and that your seams or your stitching lines are going to match up. Perfect. There we go. Zip your zipper up. Unpick the rest of your seam line and then you are ready to move on to your next step.